we've been here in Marietta, Georgia for a couple days, kind of exploring some of the uh, local history and the history of the, the Civil War that has to do with, with this town and with the, uh, the Atlanta campaign of the Civil War. Now here in Marietta, there was a gentleman by the name of Henry Cole. And uh, I've, I've read that he was a civil engineer for the railroad. I've also read that he was a, a local merchant. But uh, Henry Cole, even though he lived here in Marietta and lived here in the South, remained loyal to the Union during the Civil War, spied for federal troops, which ended up getting him thrown in prison. Uh, and then whenever the war ended, he ended up moving back here to Marietta. And Henry Cole had a big chunk of ground and he, he had this vision of creating a national cemetery where the dead could be reinterred for both the Union and the Confederates as kind of a, a sign of reconciliation between the two sides. Well, down here in the Atlanta area, I mean, Marietta had been burned, Atlanta had been burned. There was a lot of hard feelings still in 1866 and they couldn't come to an agreement. So uh, he ended up offering a chunk of ground that I think is about 23 acres uh, for a national cemetery for Union troops. And that cemetery today is known as Marietta National Cemetery. Here is the archway leading into Marietta National Military Cemetery, established A.D. 1866. This is on the inner part of the archway, and you can see up here it says Marietta National Military Cemetery. Here rest the remains of 10,132 officers and soldiers who died in defense of the Union 1861 to 1865. What we're looking at is a view of the cemetery as you are entering in the front gate and you'll notice it sits on a pretty prominent hill here in Marietta. Uh, something that's interesting that I learned is that this was uh, once proposed as a site for the capital of the Confederacy and uh, Cole was offered $50,000 for this property right here. So the, the capital of the Confederacy, had it been chosen and had he sold his land, uh, would have sat right there where you see that structure above. But he refused. He said he thought it should uh, go to better purposes. Now, in spite of the fact that he was not in the military, he did donate the land and he did do some uh, pretty amazing things. So Henry Cole and his family get a plot right here in the National Cemetery. And there's the grave right there. Here's a little bit more of a broad look at the National Cemetery here in Marietta. Now you'll notice that all of the graves are not in like super straight lines like what you typically see you know at Arlington or uh, you know in Normandy or anything like that. This cemetery was designed in such a way that the graves would follow the contour of of the hills. So something a little bit different. All right, we've been moving through, looking at uh, all of the different graves and markers here, and happened upon the grave of Dennis Buckley, who was a private in the U.S. Army, killed July 20th, 1864, XPOW, and was awarded the Medal of Honor. I don't know a lot about Dennis Buckley, but uh, to my knowledge, he's the only Civil War Medal of Honor recipient buried here at Marietta. So, yeah, we're going to have to take the time to learn a little bit more about Buckley after we leave. Now, we just kind of stumbled into an interesting section of the cemetery. This is uh, the grave of a man named Henry Idle, and you'll notice it says USCT. 
that stands for United States Colored Troops. So Henry Idle was a, uh, a free black man who fought in the Civil War. And then right next to him, you see another USCT. This is N. Biffin, I believe is what that says. Okay, and then if we, if we go over here, uh, you, can, you can see a few more. Isom Harris, Judge Carrot. These are all men who were African Americans and uh, fought for the Union. In doing a little bit of research about the Battle of Kennesaw Mountain, there was one story in particular that I came across that, that really jumped out at me and that I found exceptionally compelling. And it's not about a soldier. It's about a woman by the name of Emma Stevenson. Uh, Emma Stevenson was an African-American woman, uh, was a former enslaved person. I believe she was a slave in Tennessee, if I'm not mistaken. And after getting her freedom, Rather than going north and you know enjoying the new freedom, she decided that she wanted to help. She wanted to pitch in uh, in the Civil War effort and do what she could. So she became a nurse. Now, we, we have some surviving letters that were written home from soldiers talking about Emma Stevenson. Uh, they referred to her as the, the slave nurse, even though she wasn't a slave at the time. But they talk in their letters about how well cared for they were under her watch. Well, Emma ended up dying of some ailment uh, during the, the Battle of Kennesaw Mountain or, you know, during the, the Atlanta campaign. And she was so highly thought of that she is buried right here. So Emma Stevenson, we don't know when she was born, but we do know when she died. July 16th, 1864. So this would have been after the battle of Kennesaw Mountain, but she was caring for the soldiers who were wounded in that conflict. And I have to say, this, this is quite the heroic figure, because if she would have been captured, it would have been right back into a life of slavery for her. Pretty amazing. If there was ever anybody who deserved a, a statue or a monument, it, it's this woman. All right, well that was the Marietta National Military Cemetery. A lot of men here who, uh, this is their eternal resting place and fought and gave their lives for the preservation of this union. And then there are people here from other conflicts as well. World War II, Korea, Vietnam, World War I. I think there's a veteran from the Revolutionary War that's buried here somewhere, but uh, all of them gave their life for a higher cause. You really feel the weight of it whenever you look at all these headstones. Like I said, pretty amazing place. All right, we're moving on. <laughs>